What does a floating poop mean? Now, if your poops are lighter in color and they are floating, it could indicate that certain things are happening in your body. Now, those floating poops could be related to your liver and gallbladder health. And if there's some issues happening here, this is often related to the fact that now you're not properly emulsifying the fats that you're ingesting in your diet and the poop is not going to be a darker color and a dark sinker, it is now floating. It can also be an indication of malabsorption syndromes and also some pancreatic disorders as well if your poops are always floating. So it's definitely something that you want to check with your practitioner. But here's the good news. I've got six tips for a floating poop. Okay, tip number one is to fix your circadian rhythms. This means fixing your clock mechanisms. Now, these are regulated by the light and dark cycles of the day. So sunrise, sunset, and really important at nighttime that it is actually very dark. This is going to properly program your gut microbiome, which also has clocks and is very sensitive to light and dark. So doing your best after the sun has set to really keep your environment as dark as possible is going to go a long way to actually help your internal clock mechanisms in your liver, your gallbladder, but in your digestive tract as well and in your microbiome. Okay, tip number two is to limit your EMF exposure and your artificial light exposure. That means your blue light toxicity. This again will mess up your microbiome and those clock mechanisms as it's related to the light and dark cycle of the day. We also know that that exposure to those man-made EMFs has a negative impact on our good microflora, so our probiotics in our gut, and that's what the studies have shown, that it will disrupt the balance between the good and bad guys in your gut microbiome. Okay, tip number three is to do a full body detox and I like for people to do this three to four times a year so once per quarter and really encouraging your internal organs to help to speed up their detox processes. We do have a lot of accumulated toxins from our external environments and unfortunately in our food and our water supplies and depending on where you live in the world this may be better or worse but it really is a good idea to do that full body detox to alleviate that toxic load. Okay tip number four for unhealthy and maybe floating poops is to consider taking some digestive enzymes. So maybe your gallbladder has been removed or maybe you do have compromised liver gallbladder function. Well specifically Specific digestive enzymes, especially the lipases, will help you to digest and absorb those fats properly so that you get back to having a healthier poop, again, an S-shaped dark sinker. Okay, tip number five for those floating poops is to take some turmeric, especially with that active component, that curcumin. And that curcumin at a 95 percentile is what you should be looking for if you're looking for the supplement for that turmeric. Those curcuminoids at that high percentage are really effective. It's one of the only things that's actually been studied now to help with liver and gallbladder function and increasing those bile acids to be able to emulsify those fats so that you have those healthier poops. And tip number six is to increase the fiber in your diet. So increasing your fiber rich foods in your diet and maybe even taking a psyllium seed husk supplement may be a great thing that you can add into your daily routine to really help with getting back to having those healthier poops. Now I did mention that turmeric with the curcumin and they're not not all created equal when you're looking to supplement with turmeric. So I want you to learn more. So check out this video, warning your turmeric may contain this. I'll see you there.